Hi, this is Joseph with Go Engineer. I have a 3D printing tech tip today for you about calibrating your F-Series 3D printer. This is something you have to do anytime you replace or change the heads, and occasionally you will want to do just to make sure your quality is top notch. So come to the back room and we'll walk you through it. All right, here we are in our demo center with our F370. All of the calibrations are the same for all of the F-Series printers that we're going to go through. Okay, the first one, to get to the automatic calibration, we go into the settings menu. And then the calibrations are in the little target and tip calibrations. The first one we're going to run is the automatic calibration. All right, once it begins, you're gonna get a little spinning wheel and a countdown timer. The countdown here is for the printer to come up to print temperature and stabilize so the heat is soaked all the way through all of the metal, all of the components in there, so just like it does when it prints, so your calibrations will be accurate to when you print. The automatic calibration, you only run one time, that gets it close and then we move on to the manual calibrations. We'll let this run and we'll meet back up when this is done to show you the manual calibrations. So when the automatic calibration is finished, we then can come in and start the manual calibration by pressing the bottom button. We press the start button on the manual tip calibration and just the confirmation of the part, that's what we want to print. The approximate seven minutes here, that's the print time. So if there's any other warm up time, it might take a little longer than that. Now this overview of the print tray is keyed for the printer to calibrate in this spot. So don't move this print part around like you could for other prints. Hit print and off it goes. We'll let it run and come back as soon as it's finished. All right, our print calibration has now finished. So we can hit the next button. That brings us to our calibration screen. Remove the calibration from the printer. And here is our print offset. And if you want to understand a little bit more about what the printer is actually doing in the software side of it, you can watch our video for in-depth calibration understanding. What we're going to do is read, in this case the red is our model material, the white is the support. Can get a close up of that. And so we want to make sure the support head is correctly in line with the model head. To do that, we need our a little 10x loop and I like to hold the print vertical right underneath some lights so we can get a really clear view of what's going on with it. Set the loop directly on top of the print job and then bring your eye to that. And then I just start at zero and move up and down until I find where the offsets are that I need to work with. And then I turn the print. So I'm always working vertical that way no weird shadows are crossing the lines and making it hard to read. And then again, start at zero, go up and down, find the offsets I'm working with. And the screen will ask, are we ready for another print job? Because we opened the door. I'm not putting in a new tray yet, so I'm going to say no. And we're back to our calibration screen. So in this case, the print is pretty darn close, so I'm just going to move the X1 a little bit and the X2 a little bit that I saw. They're just 
It was just slightly off, so I'm only moving it to about negative one, just to refine that print. If you see something that you're like, is it zero, is it two, is it one? We're dealing with 10 thousandths of an inch here, so make your best guess. You're gonna be close enough and it will be fine. Then we turn. Double check what I'm seeing. In this case, the two Y calibrations are right on zero. It's exactly what we want to see. Now to get the Z calibration, we actually need to come into the print and peel off this, the top layer of the center square. The top right corner is usually the easiest spot to get that. And then just gently pull it off, okay? Once we have that center square removed, we need our digital calipers. Turn them on, zero it out, make sure you're in inches, and you're looking for 0 0.01. And if you forget that, that's okay. It says it right on the printer what slice height you're looking for. 0 0.01 so you can always remember then with the calipers just measure around the box I like to go around a couple different times hit the middle hit some of the closer to the edges just don't hit the corner itself that ha always has a little bit of a bump and you get inaccurate readings but otherwise I go around two or three times just measuring several different spots and that gives me a good average number sometimes you'll get all the same number which is great sometimes you'll get a few fluctuations in decimal points we don't really need to worry about small fluctuations take a good average in this case I'm going to key in and just use the little up arrow to what I saw of point zero one one So once you have everything set up the way you see it on the print, you're just entering in what you see, you hit apply, and everything applies the new values and close. And that is how we enter in the calibrations for the F-Series 3D printers. The reasons you will want to calibrate, anytime you remove the head, you need to calibrate it. Anytime your parts are maybe looking a little off, run the calibration, the manual calibration. If you want to do a quick calibration be before a long build, the manual calibration is the one you want to do. Remember the automatic calibration just gets it close. The manual calibration really dials it in. And then one last tip, if you are running the calibration, the manual calibration, more than two or three times without it dialing in and being perfect, there might be something physically not in place, go back, unlock the heads, relock them, and then start back over. We don't want you to, to spend a whole day running calibrations that just aren't working. It's something needs to be tweaked. Get back in there, line everything back up, and then everything works out just fine. Thanks for watching. Okay, so there's a lot of little steps to that, couple lines and things you have to pay attention to. We do have another video that my uh, coworker Michael Brentholt did describing and really delving deep into hows and whys and what the calibration is really doing. I highly recommend you check that out to, just to understand everything that's going on about it. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at Customer Support. You can find our number at GoEngineer.com. Please like and subscribe to this video so you can keep up with all of our future tech tips. Thanks. See you next time.